Imagination, it looks just like a real one. Sandy messes. Time for a splash. Yeah, let's go. Wait for me. I'm a sea turtle. <laughs> I'm a mermaid. <laughs> I can make the biggest splash. Watch me. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> huh? Hey, I think I saw something. Why, it's a sand dollar. Wow. Beautiful. It's absolutely astonishing. Hey, it's mine. I found it. I just want to look. Besides, Strawberry saw it first. Oh, I don't care. You two can have it. Hey, here's another one. Isn't it the most amazing thing? I wonder if there are any more. I'll look there. And I'll look here. They are sort of pretty, I guess. Ah! I found one! I found one! And it's mine! All mine! I guess you haven't heard the legend. The what? The legend of the lost treasure. Will you tell us, Seaberry? This treasure's made of sand dollars, too. But these are pure, solid, shining gold. Really? But that's impossible. She's kidding us. Well, now I can't say how true it is, or it isn't. All I can tell you is what I was told once, long, long ago. It all happened out there, far, far away, and deep, deep in the ocean, where the candy coral grows and the sea sweeties swim, out in a land of sugar sharks and peppermint porpoises, a world of mermaids and creatures like you never dreamed. Whoa, Seaberry! Did you say mermaids? That's right. I'm just telling you what I was told. And I was told there's a whole sea full of them. Red-headed mermaids like you, Strawberry. And mystery-loving mermaids like you, Blueberry. And they all lived and laughed together in a magical place under the sea. But that was before, before the treasure was found. Ooh, look there. Isn't it wonderful? It's beautiful. But it's just a shell. Tiny little, silly little shell. A wonderful, beautiful, tiny little shell. There are so many incredible things here. If only you take the time to look. When you look just where you're going, never stopping to explore. You miss all the worlds around you. You treat your eyes.
Daddy, come look at this. A gold sand dollar. A star fruit fish once told me about a whole lost mountain of them. No one knows exactly where it is, but they say it's somewhere dark and dangerous. Maybe we'll find it. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? Let's go look. Wait, they say those things only bring sadness and unhappiness. You don't really believe that, do you, Seaberry? Yeah, that's just a silly super touche. Stuper sish. Well, it's just nonsense. Come on, Blueberry, I'll look over this way. And I'll look that way. They are sort of pretty. Shall we look too? Why not? I found another one. I found one too! Wow, here's three of them. Everybody's finding them but me. Here, now we can all have one. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, I... No, if I tell them, they'll come here looking for more. Hiya, Blueberry. Find anything? Nope, not yet. Nothing, nuh -uh. How about you? Haven't found a thing. Or maybe that's what she wants me to think. I have to watch myself. They could be following. I wonder where Blueberry and Rainbow went. I hope they didn't go in that candy kelp forest. There's no telling what's in there. this place to Blueberry and Rainbow. I wonder what could have happened to them. Looks like they've been this way. Come on. Could it be? Do I see? It's, it's gold. gold. And, and it's, it's mine. mine. I saw it first. After I saw it. Did not. Did too. Hey, wait. Whoa, what are you two talking about? We're all friends here, remember? After all, this gold doesn't mean anything. I mean, you're not getting greedy, are you? Mine! Mine! Won't you come back with us? We found the most amazing place to play. We don't have time for that. Yeah, we've got gold to find. Oh, look out! Huh? huh? She says it's dangerous to go on. She says some sea sweeties got greedy for gold. They went down this path in search of treasure. <gasps> and they were never seen again. They're trying to scare us so they can keep the treasure for themselves. But I'm gonna get it for me. We better follow them. Huh? Did you see something? No. Did you? What is that? 
whatever it is, it's big. We have to warn the girls. Rainbow! It's them. They're after the gold. Whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Ack, I'm trapped. I am so stuck. Help! I think she's over this way. I never saw anything like it. Yeah, but I saw it first. It's mine. No, it's mine. No, children. <laughs> It is mine. Uh, uh, you better let us go. Oh, but I need your help. It's taken me years to get this much treasure, but things will go a lot faster with a pair of mermaids helping. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, but it came from over there. That's horrible. We have to help them. Let's go. No, we don't stand a chance against those big fish. We need a plan. Funny, these things aren't so amazing anymore, are they? Not at all. Psst, psst. Over here! Huh? What? No, don't look. Don't worry, I have an idea. But we need some of those sand dollars. When that sea serpent sees this trail of gold, it'll give the others a chance to escape. How could they have missed this much gold? How's that? Uh-oh. A mer thief! After her, fellows! On the count of three. One. Hello. What Neptune's name is going on around here? Three! Ah! Ah! Great schools of squid! Ah! Hooray! We did it! Bravo for us! One for all and all for one! <gasps> it's a sea quake! <gasps> What's that? It's the sea serpent! My gold! My gold! Get out of there while you can! Oh! And help! Come on, girls! Let's make a chain! Quickly now! Grab on! But, dearie, my hands are full! You have to let go of the gold, okay? I'm thinking, honey, I'm thinking. <gasps> oh, please, grab hold. You don't need that silly gold. Oh, all right. My gold, oh, gone, gone. 
It may have been pretty to look at, but it's worth absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's not like it means anything. Hmm. You know, you're right, aren't you? It doesn't mean anything, does it? And you're okay. That's what really matters. I understand now, thanks to you. Can you ever forgive me for acting the way I did? If you promise not to do it again. Oh, I do, honey. I do promise. Then I guess we can forgive you. You truly are true friends. Uh-oh, I better check on my other friends. Friends, I have had an idea. From now on, no more bullying. We'll be sweet as sea berries. What do you think? <laughs> she says there are still sand dollars lying around and they're just going to cause more trouble. Maybe we should get rid of them. What do you say, girls? You Absolutely. Absolutely. Hooray! A friend can be worth her weight in gold and more. More precious each day than the day before. The time you choose to spend together with that friend is all it takes. A few Treasures found down in the deep blue sea May sparkle and excite both you and me But putting trinkets first would have to be the worst of all mistakes Can treasure hold me close? Can treasure comb my hair? Would treasure laugh at all my jokes? Does treasure really care? Trifles where they're true Do golden bubbles make me laugh? They shimmer and they glimmer But I think I'll treasure you Can treasure hold me close? Can treasure cool my hair? Would treasure laugh at all my jokes? Does treasure really care? Do trinkets and enchant? Do trifles where they're true? Shimmer and they glimmer, but I think I'll treasure you. All the best and sweetest friends, you know I'll treasure you. And so, each and every one of them even the sea serpent lived happily ever after. Hooray! Yay! Yes! Yay! Yay! Or at least that's how the legend goes. What do you think we ought to do with these? I think there's only one thing to do. Where are you two going? Just a little something we need to do. Together. <laughs> this was hard work, but because we worked together, it was actually fun. I wouldn't go that far. Custard, my friend, you bring a certain skill to this project that only a cat can. See, Custard, someone appreciates you. Probably just because of my tidy tongue. It's the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. And the most fun I've ever had baking. You're the best. You're so great.
Next, we need some party hats. We'll have to visit Upper Hat Rack. This place doesn't seem like Upper Hat Rack. a minute. Didn't we just come this way? I told you to take the low road. Hmm. This doesn't seem right either. I told you to take the high road. Why didn't you take the middle road? I think we're very, very lost. Now we'll never get home to have a party. Not that it was going to be such a great party. Lost? We lost? <laughs> have you tried north? What about south? Who's there? Or east? Or west? Hello! Who are you? Then there's northeast and southeast. Hello! We seem to be lost. Could you please tell us how to get to... No problem! I, Honey Pie Pony, specialize in expert directions. It's very, very confusing around here. Not to a clover expert like me. In fact, this reminds me of the time I was touring the fields of Scottberry, and the king invited me to a game of polo. And then there was the time that I opened for the Olympic jumpers. Once a sleigh of reindeer came through and they asked directions too. Now, what was I saying? Directions? Er, we need some directions. Could you tell us the way to get to Upper Hat Rack? Upper Hat Rack? One of my favorite places. Similar to Upper Coat Rack, but less touristy. Allow me to accompany you. That would be wonderful. Thank you. May I offer you a ride? At least we're making some progress in the fur and tail department. <sighs> Yes, but she's much too tall. Just look at those ridiculous long legs. Oh, custard. I don't think we're in Cakewalk anymore. No kidding. Miss Longlegs has gotten us even more lost than we already were. Oh, dear. Honey, we must have made a wrong turn again. Not according to my calculations, but this does remind me of the time I was in pants, and I was trotting, and then I was cantering, and before I knew it, I was galloping. You just told us that story. But did I tell you how everyone yelled, hi, ho, honey, when they saw me approaching? Wait, do you get the feeling someone's watching us? <laughs> Someone was watching us. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Huckleberry Pie is my name, but you can call me Huck. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Apple Dumplin', Custard, and you've already met Cupcake. And I'm Honey, the talking pony. And boy, does she talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very fine spyglass you have. Want to take a peek? Sure. Hmm. 
See anything interesting? A river. And it looks like it's made out of chocolate. It is. That's the river fudge. You want to see it in person? Why not? Okay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We were trying to get to Upper Hat Rack. Oh, that's miles from here. Oops. Here you go, kitty. Why, thanks. Anyone else care for a hat? Those are very perfect party hats. Thanks for the party hats, Huck. No, it doesn't matter that you never found up a hat rack. That's right. We found hats, and even better, we found two new friends. Here it is, the River Fudge. Strawberry, I can't wait to tell the folks about this one. I couldn't have done it without you, honey. I guess having long legs can be good for something. like a raft to get you across a river. 
And nothing like working together to get the job done. I never realized how much fun it was to work with others. Sounds familiar. I think it's done. A very, very nice raft. shown an interest in someone who's human. A human? Oh my goodness, you're right! <laughs> he is human. I guess I just thought of him as... as Huck. That's what friendship is all about. When you forget what people look like, and you like them for what they are inside. Actually, Huck has quite a few cat-like qualities inside. Well? Do we have everything we need for the best birthday party ever? <laughs> party! Hi. Cookies? Check. Fruit? And juice? Check, check. Cake? Check. Party hats? Check. Tag, tag. <laughs> well, I guess we have everything on the list. But I think we've forgotten something. Oh dear, we forgot to invite other guests. Aww. I have an idea, but I'll need some help. I'll help. Me too. Good! We'll need some supplies! First, I put some paper on the floor. We're going to turn Pupcake into a living paintbrush. Your job is to make sure there's plenty of paint. Pupcake, you step in the pan, then decorate the paper. Okay, back in the pan. Pretty! Perfecto! Now, Custard, you write the invitation. You are invited. All right. Apple, freshen Pupcake's paint and let's get moving. Hmm. How 
nice. Oh, boy! We were thinking we'd have to have a very, very small party when we heard a knock on the door. Our guests! Our guests! They're here! They're here! Yippee! Not a moment too soon. such a terrible party after all. I knew you would like it, Custard. <laughs> Hate to admit it, but the best part is that there are all different kinds of guests. Hey, all of a sudden your glass looks at least half full, if not very, very full. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry girl and strawberry world, life here is a treat. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, forever it's a beat. Where the berries grow so tall, where the air is clean for all, where big berry raindrops swell, strawberry land is neat. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, what a place to sing. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, ring-a-ling-a-ding. Where the music sounds so sweet, where you two step to the beat, where each day's a great big treat. Strawberry land is neat. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, what fun to explore. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, magic lands next door. Lands where giant fruit trees go, lands with hills of cookie dough, lands where chocolate rivers flow, fun and then some more. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Patience, Pupcake, patience. They'll drop some food sooner or later, and when they do, it's ours. On your right, coming through. Watch your back. Strawberry, strawberry. Oh, whoa, ah! Phew. Whoa, think you got enough boxes of cookies there, Strawberry Shortcake? Well, yeah, I think so. All fresh and home-baked. Strawberry! Whoa! Oh, no! Bravo! Again! <laughs> oh, wow, 
Apple Dumplin'. Sorry. Now some of these cookies are ruined. What do you want, Apple Dumplin'? I want to help Strawberry. Oh, well, no. I, I don't think so, Apple Dumplin'. Aw, oh, please. You're a little too... little, you know? Why don't you sit and watch us cook, okay? Okay. <sighs> we can show you all about cooking. How's that sound? All right, Strawberry. First, we'll start with some very important kitchen safety rules. Number one, and most very important of all, always ask a grown-up before you do anything in the kitchen. Next, be sure to read through the whole recipe before you start, so you can make sure you have all the ingredients and all the supplies you need. And be sure to wash your hands with soap and water before you touch the food. When you measure the ingredients, be sure to do it very carefully. Always follow each and every step of the recipe. Wash all fruits and vegetables before you use them. Be careful, because some foods, like meat and chicken and eggs, can have germs on them. Use different knives and cutting boards when you're fixing these. And wash your hands when you're done fixing them. You gotta remember to keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot. That keeps germs from growing. If there's leftover food, cover it and store it in the refrigerator or freezer. Always wear the right clothes, like shoes and an apron. If you have on long sleeves, push them up. Oh, and make sure your hair's out of the way. Never try to put anything in the oven without an adult's help. Hot food in the oven and the stove can cause very painful burns. So we use oven mitts or pot holders to protect our hands. Turn the handles of pots and pans away from you so you don't accidentally knock them over. And make sure those handles aren't over a burner. They can get very hot. And clean up as you go. It's much easier and much safer that way. And now, if everybody's ready, ready, let's wash our hands and get going. What now, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Where do we start? What do we do first? Well, we... Now I help. <laughs> I don't think you're ready quite yet. Apple Dumpin' wanna learn. Well, maybe you could help a little bit. You can help, um... I know, you can help by getting the wax paper ready, okay? We need just enough to cover this tray. Uh-oh. I got it, I got it! Don't got it. Watch out! Get it! Yay! Oh. Mm. Almost had it. I got it! There it goes! Whoops! That enough? Yeah. I think that's plenty, Apple Dumplin'. Oh, Dumplin', just look at the mess you made. <laughs> Yo! Oh, sorry. I think maybe she's helped enough, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? But I... Maybe it'd be better if you just watched, Apple Dumplin'. Wanna help? Why don't you find a place where you won't get into trouble? But, yeah, maybe you ought to take a nap, huh? Isn't it about nap time? But I'm not sleepy. Maybe you ought to wait over there, Apple Dumplin'. You know, working in the kitchen can be dangerous. Yeah, it's not a job for babies. Angel cake? Apple dumpling, not a baby. <laughs> There's nuts I can do. If they let me. I am not. <sighs> oh, a baby. I'm not too late. But I'll show them that I'm not too small And I can do any, any, anything at all Cause I'm not little, not too little Oh no, I'm not Watch how I can tie my shoes Wait, I'll try again 
I know how to count to ten. One, five, nine, six, ten. I do lots of fake girl things like run and jump and play. It's plain to see I'm practically grown up in every way. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. I wish they'd trust me to stir the pot. Cause I'd show them that I'm not too small. And I can do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. I know 50 rainbow colors, red, blue, green, and red. I can take my big red ball and bounce it off my head. Ow! I pick flowers like the grown-ups do and roll downhill all day. And did I mention how I love to run and jump and play? Oh, I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. They treat me little, but I'm not a lot. If I show them that I'm not too small, they'll let me do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. My own clothes myself. I can wiggle my own toes myself. I can climb up on the couch myself. Make the pillows like a kangaroo's pouch myself. Then I can crawl inside myself and close my eyes and hide myself and dream of things to be tried myself. I'm not too little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. Look, Strawberry! I'm a big girl, too! Where did these babies come from? Strawberry, come look! Oh, little baby, are you Strawberry? <laughs> oh, Strawberry, it is you! What am I gonna do? Who will take care of these babies? Gotta think, gotta think, gotta think. Well, I guess Apple Dumplin' will take care of the babies. Apple Dumplin's big now. That's right. Apple Dumplin's the big kid now. And you babies are little. I am the little. Huh? Now, you do like Dumplin says, okay, Orange Blossom? <laughs> <laughs> and Dumplin does not need a nap. Isn't that right, Ginger Snap? Goo 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 ga. And now we will bake a cake, okay? <laughs> a cake. First we need... Mmm, berries! <laughs> that smells good, hmm. Ew, no, that doesn't smell good. That doesn't smell good at all. <laughs> Baby Ginger Step, is that you? <laughs> oh, Baby Ginger Snap, yuck! Baby Ginger Snap, you go change that diaper right now. <laughs> oh, baby Ginger Snap, Apple Dumplin' will help you. Please, baby Ginger Snap, don't ever do that again. Okay, now we'll bake a cake. <gasps> oh no! The baby! <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> Messy baby angel cake. No, no, baby orange blossom. Oh, that's not very helpful, baby ginger snap. Come on, time to cook. Now, very first of all, <laughs> Baby Strawberry, don't eat off the floor. It's <laughs> 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 all right, Baby Angel Cake. 
baby Ginger? <laughs> Where is baby Orange Blossom? <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, no! Baby Orange Blossom? Where are you? Baby Orange Blossom! <laughs> baby Orange Blossom, put down that hose! Gaga? No, Baby Orange Blossom, do not turn that on! No, Baby Orange Blossom! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the flowers have plenty of water now. Ooh. much better. Someday you can cook too when you're big like me. You're a little too little, not big like me. Just a little bit little, but I guarantee that one day you'll be big and tall. And you'll have no cares at all. Like me, like me. When you're big like me. You're just an itty too. to make the cake get big. <gasps> Baby Orange Blossom! Oh, please be careful. Okay. Now, where was Apple Dumpling? Oh, baking powder to make the cake get big. I put in a little more, to be sure. There, that will do it. I've got my oven mitts on. In goes the cake. There.
telling a story always works for babies. so it's kind of soft. We add a scoop on top of each cookie, just like this. Then we add another cookie, top side up, on each one, and we press them together. Then we cover the whole thing with more wax paper. And we put them in the freezer until they're good and frozen again. About two hours. Here's some we already made. Now what's all about right now, what? Well, now we eat them. Yummy. Here you go, Apple Dumplin'. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Thank you, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Mmm, looks delicious. My favorite. I can't believe it. They didn't drop a single bit. <laughs> no, but I did find a special pet treat just for you. I knew you wouldn't forget us, Strawberry. 